Hey, this is Parker Smith, your favorite in-town Atlanta realtor. And today I'm gonna to answer the question, can you find a house inside the perimeter in Atlanta for under $400,000? Let's get started. So a lot of people when they move to uh, work at Emory University or CDC, uh, look on the southwest side of Emory University and that's called Virginia Highlands and Druid Hills. And those tend to be houses that start around $750,000 and go up to $2 million. Um, if, you're, if you look on the northeast side of Emory University, you're gonna find uh, a much, much better values in housing. If you're a doctor uh, just starting out at Emory Hospital, uh, maybe you're a retiree that's looking to move into uh, the area to be closer to your grandkids, I think you're gonna find much better values on the northeast side of Emory University in North Decatur. When you first start looking in North Decatur, you might think you aren't able to get into a house for less than $500,000, $600,000. But I'm gonna show you some great neighborhoods around here where you can actually find great values under 400,000. So what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna show you on the map and I'm not gonna be in your face the whole time. And I'm gonna show you the secret places in North Decatur where you can find an adorable house for under $400,000. Okay, so just to reorient ourselves where we're talking about, we're talking about the North Decatur zip codes. Uh, here is the city of Atlanta, and just northeast of there is Emory University and Children's Healthcare of Atlanta, and you can see North Decatur is located primarily east of Emory University. I'm going to zoom in on the area to give you a better look at the neighborhoods we're discussing. All right, here is the zoom view. On the left, you can see Emory University and Children's Healthcare. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna travel east down La Vista Road, which is right here. La Vista is kind of the main corridor through the uh, North Decatur neighborhoods, and we're gonna end up at Hudson Woods. Hudson Woods is a terrific neighborhood, still very affordable, uh, lots of great sturdy little ranch houses, and it feeds into Briar Lake Elementary, which is located right there. Briar Lake is a terrific school, about 400 students, uh, very high demand, and you can see the neighborhoods. You can just walk to school from there. So let's go ahead and take a look at our first Hudson Woods house. Okay, so what we're doing here is taking a behind the scenes look at 1657 Moncrief Circle. I sold this house a little over a year ago for just under $318,000. It's a three bedroom, one and a half bath. And it came in, comes in just a little over 1,100 square feet. So um, these are photos that still exist on uh, that that I have access to, but you probably won't be able to get these on Zillow or anything, since this house is already sold. This was a very very well maintained house. Owners did a great job with it. Beautifully re re uh, renovated it. Finished the hardwood floors, opened up a wall into the kitchen, really did a great job opening the space, put in a new kitchen, uh, all new cabinets, new appliances. That gives you a pretty good sense of the main space. Let me jump back here, take a look at a couple of these bedrooms. The paneled wood walls are also a, a typical feature of a lot of these houses. These were mostly built in the late 50s. But what else is really uh, great about these houses is this uh, house is on four tenths of an acre and it really gives you a great sense of privacy. I mean, look at this yard here, got this beautiful deck for entertaining, nice big yard for, for playing, throwing the ball. Um, and you really get the sense that you're living in a forest. It, it really gives you a, a great, great sense of space there. So let's go ahead and take a look at our next house, which is in Linmore Woods, just about a mile away. All right, our next neighborhood is Linmore Woods, which is just about a mile away from Hudson Woods. And you'll notice a lot of these uh, neighborhoods have woods and forests and uh, grove and so on and so forth in them. And it's because Atlanta is a gigantic forest, and that's one of the things I love most about Atlanta. So let's take a look at our house in Linmore Woods. Next up on our tour is 3178 Francine Drive. This is in Linmore Woods, which is a 
terrific little up and coming area, uh, still inside the perimeter, uh, kind of along Highway 78, which takes you out to Stone Mountain. Uh, Linmore has gotten very, very popular uh, the last several years, and Laurel Ridge is an elementary school that's in very high demand. Um, an excellent, excellent elementary school. Um, this is a three bedroom, two bath house, and it's 2150 on the square footage, so it's about a uh, thousand square feet larger than the Hudson Woods house that we just looked at. I sold this last year for $315,000. This house is just down the street from uh, the Linmore Woods Swim Tennis Club, very close to a coffee shop, very close in town to everything. So let's take a look at some photos. All right, here's the front of the house and it's a pretty typical split level design. And this house, unfortunately, was not staged when the photos were made. Uh, but you can see it's got all new windows throughout, uh, plantation blinds on most of the windows. Nice floor plan feeds into the dining room. Updated kitchen and appliances. And let's take a quick look at the bathrooms here. There's bathroom number one. Nicely updated, and here's bathroom number two, also been updated, and here's the giant room in the basement. Let's take a look out back here. Again, this is a, a third of an acre here, so lots of space. They've got a big screen porch on the back. People love to sit out on their screen porches here in Atlanta. And let's take another look here. So that is an awful lot of house for $315,000. I know this is a series on uh, houses under $400,000. We could have called it uh, houses under $325,000. And you can see you, you can still get a tremendous value uh, in this area. Okay, our last stop is in Briarmoor Manor. Briarmoor is a great little neighborhood. It feeds into Hawthorne Elementary, which is another one of our terrific elementary schools in the neighborhood. Hawthorne is located about right there. Briarmore is very close to uh, the North Lake Mall area, and just uh, quickly, Emory University recently leased out about 225,000 square feet in the North Lake Mall to use as office space. So Emory is going to have a huge presence right in this area. So let's go, go ahead and take a look at our house in Briarmore Manor. Okay, so our last stop here is at 2379 Hawthorne Drive in that Briarmoor Manor neighborhood. Again, this is uh, right down the street from Hawthorne Elementary School. Um, it's just about a half a mile from that new uh, North Lake Mall, Emory, Emory University, Emory Hospital development. Uh, this is on six tenths of an acre, four bedrooms, two baths, 1,800 square feet. I sold this house last year for $375,000. What an amazing value. So let's take a quick look here. Beautifully renovated, beautifully maintained house. Gorgeous floors, fantastic kitchen. I mean, look at all these cabinets, brand new appliances, everything. Let's take a quick look at the bathrooms. Here's the view into the master bedroom. And let's just take a quick look outside here. Nice patio, big yard, lots of azaleas, tons of southern charm. Great house in a great neighborhood, very close to Emory University, close to shopping, close to everything you need. Safe, charming, cozy, you gotta love it. So I hope you've enjoyed our tour of these houses inside the North Decatur area. These are kind of secret areas. This is kind of insider knowledge from somebody that lives here. And I'm going to be producing a lot more videos. So I hope you'll subscribe and keep paying attention.